If a rolling stone truly gathers no moss, then this man <laughs> is clean. It's Brandon Stone, the Texas <laughs> freshman that's coming off his second individual win of the golfing season, which helped lead Texas to its second team win of the season as well. And head coach of Texas men's golf, John Fields, is here as well. Guys, let's talk about the transition first off. Texas, number two team in the college rankings. You're the number one individual in the college rankings. How have you been set up for success, though, when it's not just a new program you're adjusting to, but a new country coming over from South Africa? Um, I think the people in the team makes it a lot simpler. We have Coach Fields and Coach Murphy who have made the transition very easy for me and very comfortable. I'm, I feel comfortable where I am now and I'm settled. And right now, it's, life is easy, which is all all thanks to Coach Fields, Coach Murphy, and the rest of the team. I mean, they've been phenomenal. Is life easy for you, Coach? Uh, from time to time it is, especially when uh, we're hitting fairways, greens, and making putts. But um, it's always a lot of fun to be around these young guys. And sometimes it's challenging, but most of the time it's, it's a lot of fun. What makes his start so remarkable when you consider the second round he plays for Texas, it's a 63? Well... We knew uh, that Brandon had that kind of potential. He's done that uh, on several occasions back in South Africa and really in Europe uh, and different events. So coming in, we knew he had that kind of potential. Certainly didn't know you were going to do it right off the bat, <laughs> but we, it was welcome, I can tell you that. Uh, obviously, we're transitioning out of last year into this year, and, and Brandon's made it a lot easier. Does the coaching staff and the guys that were part of last year's team, how much do they talk about what happened last season with that national championship? Oh, it's it's always a dinner conversation. I mean, it almost gives you like goosebumps when you when they speak. I mean, I can see Cody Gribble when he speaks about it. Almost it brings that smirk onto his face. It just that knowing that you've got a national championship, and I know Coach the way he carries himself like a national champion. I mean, it, to know that you have that and you got that ring, and you got that under your belt is such a a bragging right, you could say, yeah. when you get to tournaments. And it's a head turner. Like I say to coach, when you walk into the driving range, every single team and every single player and coach notices when we walk onto the driving range. It's almost like we have that aura, <laughs> which is so nice. And to know that you're part of that team is unreal. And to know that that's part of Texas golf is yeah. unreal as well. You're really, in some ways, picking up where Dylan Fratelli left off, sinking that putt to clinch the third national championship for Texas men's golf. What kind of relationship did you guys have before you arrived here at the University of Texas, and what kind of influence was he, also being from South Africa, to guide you in this direction to Austin? Uh, he was huge. I mean, Dylan and I, we were half a generation apart. So when I was starting junior golf, he just finished junior golf. And when he came to college, I was, I was, I mean, he was a sophomore, I think, when he gave my name to Coach Fields and Coach Murphy and said, listen, this is a kid to watch and he's going to be a good player in the future. And Coach Fields and Coach Murphy got in touch with me and they said, listen, we're watching. And had a good year, had another good year. And then my senior year in high school, I had a phenomenal year. And Coach Fields and Coach Murphy were like, we want you here. We, Texas is a place for you. And Dylan was like, you're not going to get a better place on the planet. But uh, being here now for a good nine months, I couldn't agree more. What is it like coaching Brandon, a guy that had a father that's a pro golfer that's been playing in some very major venues throughout the, his young life? What is it like to, to coach a guy with that type of experience already? Well, first of all, just to qualify that, we were uh, in touch with him his junior year following all the NCAA <laughs> rules. But, uh, but anyway, long story short, uh, it's fun to be around a guy like Brandon because he does have a golf vocabulary that's kind of extraordinary for a young man his age. That's simply because his dad is a professional golfer. Um, good golf runs in his family. So he's been around it. He's been around great players like Ernie Els, Louis Oosthuizen, uh, Charles Schwartzel. And he's had the opportunity to see those guys win, how they do it, and how they go about their business on and off the golf course. So to catch somebody at Brandon's stage of the game and his age, they don't necessarily match up. We're very fortunate. Well, you mentioned away from the golf course. Briefly, quickly, what do you like to do when you're not playing golf? Um, I'm a huge tennis and soccer fan. I mean, I love playing tennis, and I'm a huge Manchester United fan. Unfortunately, okay. my team lost to Ma Real Madrid this afternoon, so I was I'm sorry about that. throwing some Gatorade bottles around the locker room. And you're allowed to do that. I'm allowed to do I mean, I got more frustrated on, in the locker room today about <laughs> Man United losing than I've ever got on the golf course. I mean, Music? Do you listen to music? 
every day on the way to class. I just I listen to a lot of what music you guys don't particularly find attractive. I'm not really a country kind of music guy. Oh, I'm a, not everybody listens to country in Texas. I beg to differ. I okay. Mean. Oh, really? It, it's that widespread? Oh, I mean... Well, well talking about the music, though, I want to I see if this kind of fits the style that you go along with. This is the, the Golf Boys. We got four PGA <laughs> Tour pros right here, and this is their latest single. I want you to listen. I want to get your reaction. Let's check this out. Oh, how the birdies love me, love me, love me. Almonds in my bag, cause they yummy to my tummy. Pictures in my bag, swing, baby, that ain't funny. Got my SPF on, cause the sun is sunny, sunny. We go flat bills, we go flat bills. Ricky Fowler, 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 flat bills. We go on button up, we go on button up. Bubba the bubba the bubba button up. We go in May hand, we go in May hand. Grizzly with it like a mountain man. We go in insane, we go in Ben Crane. Golf boys main. <laughs> Coach Fields, the look on your face was priceless. It was during priceless. that clip. That was shocking. <laughs> you were trying to figure out what you were looking at. Oh, I know all those guys. I I saw them play in college golf, and and uh, <laughs> they're just having fun. And I think they're they're definitely uh, bringing a different different vibe to to professional golf but you know the bottom line is those guys can all play seriously so they can golf. back it up yes absolutely. Can, you, can you back up a uh, type of career like that as well down the road where I'm you can play the golf pga and then do a little rap hip-hop as well i'm not really the singer although i sing a lot on the golf course which drives my teammates quite insane because on the car rides to the tournaments all i'm doing is singing what's your favorite song to sing to really drive them nuts anything that has an up tempo I mean, do you want to sing something? No, for us before okay, we get my throat 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 throat. Nah, coach is he's saying no, no, no more, no more. We're going to end it right there. John Fields, Brandon Stone, Texas men's golf back in action on Friday as they head out to Las Vegas.